Herd immunity happens when enough people in the herd are immune to a disease to protect those who aren't immune. Health officials have a complicated formula to determine how many people in a population have to be immune for the herd to be protected. For measles, it's about 95%. When the herd immunity threshold is reached, an infection is expected to fizzle out rather than turn into a major outbreak. Herd immunity is important because a community sometimes has people who can't be immunized, including babies who are too young for vaccines, seniors with weak immune systems, or people who are fighting cancer and have lowered immune systems. But childhood vaccination rates are lower now than they used to be. Experts say a major contributor to this was parents choosing not to vaccinate their kids because they were afraid the vaccines could cause autism even though the study that sparked those fears was discredited. Now, Canadians are below the herd immunity level for some infectious diseases. That means people are getting sick and sometimes they die. In Ireland, measles immunization dropped after allegations about links to autism. In 2000, the number of measles cases rose from 148 to 1,200, and several children died. In Canada, we've seen some small outbreaks of measles and mumps over the past few years. Measles is extremely contagious, and some schools have made vaccination mandatory. Experts think the healthcare system could help get vaccination rates back up by teaching people about vaccines and using electronic health records to make tracking and booking vaccinations more convenient.